I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. During the war, World War II, Oakland was a very active, busy place. For one thing, one of the main depots for shipping out soldiers was from San Francisco. And we would constantly get big, huge trucks coming through Foothill Boulevard, past Frick Junior High School, filled with soldiers being taken to San Francisco or Oakland, where there were big troop ships that would take them off to war. Again, there was a limited amount of planes, no jet planes. So any soldier that went to Europe had to go by troop ship. And that was true even during the Korean War because air travel to Europe basically didn't start until 1952. My mother worked at the Quartermaster Depot right here at where the Eastmont Mall is today. Uh, this Eastmont area was filled with shops, stores, bars, and of course, my beloved Eastmont Theater, which is now, I think, a gym. I'm not quite sure. All these small movie houses have been closed because they were not economical to have one movie in one theater. But they were special places to escape. Again, we had no television, so we enjoyed just going out to movies. I was interested in drama and theater arts in high school, and I appeared in several plays. One was at the Oakland Auditorium. We did a play called Treasure Island, and I played the part of the young boy, Jim Hawkins. At that time, it was really a thrill to go down there and perform at the Oakland Auditorium for children who came from all over Oakland just to see us do that play. The Oakland Auditorium was wonderful in that they had all sorts of shows there, theater shows, touring Broadway companies. And we, I saw many, many wonderful plays with my mother at the Oakland Auditorium. When I was in elementary school in the sixth grade, we were allowed to be patrol boys and we would help children cross Foothill Boulevard. Again, there were no signals and there were no freeways. So there was a lot of traffic. And so we would take our big signs and put them down that said stop. And all the traffic would stop. It gave us a tremendous sense of authority. And then the children would cross the street. We were paid for that. Our pay was a free movie at, on Saturday matinees uh, that we could go to. Uh, there were lots of movies, lots of different movies. Most of them now are on DVD. Uh, there was another theater nearby. It was down on East 14th Street. It was called the Granada Theater, and they had a talent show. And so we de I decided with a young girl in the neighborhood, we were both 11, we would go down there and try out for the talent show. We sang the ferry boat serenade and God bless America. We were awful. It's no wonder that a girl with fiery batons won the contest. But it was still fun just to perform. And that I got a big kick out of. Uh, buses were only a nickel. And then we would get a card for students. They were even cheaper to travel on the bus. Right here, very close by, in the area called Havens Court, there was a train. That train went to San Francisco. And the thing is, anybody who worked there in San Francisco and used the train would buy commute books. Those commute books would entitle them to travel seven days a week. Well, they weren't traveling on Saturdays and Sundays, so we would ask them for their tickets. And they would give them to us, and we would travel Saturdays and Sundays to San Francisco, and that was always a lot of fun because the train 
ran over on the bridge at that time. And so that was very, very exciting. San Francisco, of course, was filled with servicemen. Their naval air station had sailors. And of course, being wartime, there was lots of servicemen around enjoying San Francisco, Oakland, because this is a wonderful area to live. It is uh, probably the best weather of any place in the world is right here in Oakland.